guys. We're gonna keep things uh, relatively simple today. So we're out at the beach, obviously. We've got some shrimp, and what we're gonna try to catch is some whiting. So I've just got braid tied straight down to this rig here. It's got three three-way swivels with three different little bait hooks. We're going for whiting, nothing more. So the hooks are relatively small. If we hook into anything significantly larger than a whiting, the line should hold and the hook should bend out and that fish can go on its way. All we're using for bait, just a little bit of frozen shrimp. When you're fishing for whiting, you really don't need much more than that. So I'm to make sure I get this hooked right up the shank of that hook. Like so, it does not have to be the least bit complicated to be completely effective. Got me trousers wet. I forgot this rod is too big for that particular pipe that I brought with me, so now we're touch ledgering. Really, I'm just holding on to the rod to make sure that something doesn't pull it off into the water. We already have a bite. I, I feel a fish. There's already a fish on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Now, I'm not being super... I'm going to go ahead and reel this in. Pretty sure there's a fish on. Yeah, I can feel him bumping on it. Now, I don't know what it's going to be. It could be a hard head. It could be a croaker, it could be a whiting, it could be anything. So let's have a look, see. Well, what, what else would it be but a hardhead catfish? All right, let's get this guy off the hook. These are by far by far, these are the most numerous fish out here and the easiest to catch, which does us very little good because there's not much good you can do with them. Oh, that's neat. Look at that. Right there, it's a little sea louse on his tail. Oh, bloodsucker. Oh, parasite. Do that do that fish a favor and get rid of him. But look at the tail on these. You know, underappreciated beauty, the catfish of all species, all 1,300 plus of them are quite unique. I'm really glad that didn't end up with me getting stabbed. Let's get him back. Target species achieved, the fighting whiting. A good one. There we go, get that out. Nice fish, real nice. Love that very distinctive dorsal and second dorsal pattern that they have. Really lovely fish. 
And like this one's even got a little bit of a black spot on his tail, which is pretty neat. Lovely animals. I just love these guys. Now, this is a great bait fish, and this is actually a great size uh, for the bait that I would normally catch them for. I usually catch these when I'm fishing for black tip sharks, but not today. So I'm actually going to let this fish go. Gorgeous big eyes on these guys. Absolutely love them. So let's put him back in the water. Wait for the next wave. Oh no! Oh no! Ah! Ah! We just had a huge bull whiting, uh, maybe a foot long. Got him all the way up in and he threw the hook and slipped out of our grasp at the last second. But I found out where they are hanging out at. So, they're not super far out in front of us. They're actually maybe 50, 60 yards out to the right of us. So whatever feature, whatever uh, dip in the sandbar that's in that general area is where they're congregating at the moment. Nicely done, if I may say so myself. A nice Pompano. Was not expecting that. Oh, couldn't be happier to have this. Beautiful Pompano. What a lovely fish these are. God, look at the yellow. Yellow coloration on his chin. Woo, he's very slippery. And if you look right up here, I gotta watch out for these dorsal spines. Those will ruin your weekend. Tail built for speed. You can see the, you can see the visual similarities to a Jack Crevail. Absolutely gorgeous, lovely fish. I'm gonna put this one back. God, that is a beautiful animal and he deserves to go out free. Maybe the smallest fish of the day, but we are gonna call this the last fish of the day. Nice little whiting. Oops. Let him go on his merry way and we're gonna go on our merry way. Aha, got him that time. Fantastic looking animal, this guy.